Congratulations, guys. You went ahead and replaced all the parts in your Delta single lever faucet. Hopefully, you used original replacement parts, but you still find yourself having to play with that single lever, getting it into kind of a sweet spot to get the water to stop. You know what, folks? You may have to replace that faucet. Let's go deep down inside, take a look. Coming up. All right, folks, this is going to be a short video. I have already done a video on how to replace the seats, spring, and ball in a Delta single lever faucet. And what I will do in the description box down below, I will leave you a link to that video. But a lot of people have said that they've gone through this continual process of replacing all the parts and they still find themselves having to get that handle in the sweet spot before the water actually stops dripping. And what you need to look for, folks, when that happens, if you find yourself having to play with the handle, is when you have your delta faucet apart here, if you can see where I'm pointing to, there is a little protrusion here that sticks out from the side of the faucet. And actually, this is a guide. This is a guide that the ball, the ball rides on. It's a little metal guide and it sticks out right on the side of the faucet. And what happens a lot of times after years and years and years, especially in the first generation Delta IV, this thing literally wears down almost flush with the body. And rather than the ball guiding on this, you know, the ball doesn't have a proper place to, to sit. So that's why you find yourself playing with the handle, trying to get the water to shut off. So if that happens, folks, if you find that you open up your faucet and this is literally worn down to the body of the faucet or almost flush, you're going to be faced with installing a new faucet. You know, I, I've seen cases where it'll wear down halfway and, you know, the ball will, will, will work, you know, somewhat. But I've seen a lot of cases where there is nothing left here. There's no meat left on this. And when that happens, you are going to have to replace the faucet. So again, if you're looking, uh, you know, on complete instructions, how to, Put the seats and springs in a Delta single lever faucet. Check out the link in the description box below. But after you've gone through that, actually, better yet, when, when you go to do the repair, make sure you have this little guide, this little protrusion is there because if you find that it's not there or it's worn down quite close to the body of the faucet, you'd be well served replacing the faucet. And, and pretty much that's it for this video. I just want to, I'm just going to bring up a ball, but let me reposition the camera and I'll show you exactly, you know, the slot on the ball uh, that has to ride on that guide. So stay with me. I'll be right back. Okay. And here we are. Here's the ball. And as you can see, you see that slot inside that ball, that ball has to sit on that little protrusion inside the body of the faucet and that's actually when you when you when you maneuver the ball it rides up and down that slot you know you you would have this with the flat facing you you can see the flat there by my thumb so the ball is facing in a forward position and then you you know you you, you would go left or right but everything rides on this guide and again, if that guide is worn down, almost flush with the body of the faucet, you're going to be well served replacing the faucet. Don't waste your time. Don't go crazy. So if you think you're going to go ahead and repair a Delta faucet, that's all fine and well. Uh, you may want to go out and get the parts. Listen, they're not that expensive. I recommend original replacement parts. Don't fool around with aftermarket parts because I find more often than not, you'll go back there and you'll have to take them out and, and search for original replacement parts. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. So if you find yourself playing with the handle and, and getting it into a what, what I would call a sweet spot in order to get the water to stop, Take a look at the guide inside the faucet and make sure you have enough meat there. Otherwise, you're going to have to replace that faucet. Guys, appreciate you coming by. Hope to see you soon in the next video. And as always, happy plumbing. Hey, folks, it's Bob here. If you find these videos helpful, please, please hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to claim your free video series, The 7 Things You Shouldn't Have to Pay a Plumber to Do. And to learn more about how to prevent a plumbing disaster in your home, check out my new video course, The No-Brainer Home Plumbing Inspection Checklist. Happy plumbing!